Welcome to Caseback Watches. My name is Tim and in this episode it's all about leather. Carl Friedrich sent me a briefcase for an honest test. They added some watch straps which I want to give away in this video. And I finished the next series of wallets. <music> Yes, the London-based brand Carl Friedrich contacted me. I think they've seen my leather videos and uh, my own products and they asked if I want to review this bag here or I should say this briefcase. And I said yes, but I don't want to have any payment. I will send this back and I will share my honest opinion and my honest impression with my viewers. And then two weeks silence. I mean, imagine the risk when the guy really tells his audience what he thinks about it. Oh, this is... But then they came back and said, yes, okay, okay, let's risk it, let's try it. And so this is the program for this video, lightbox review of this briefcase here. Then they added some straps and I told them, look, I, I use those products. Do you want to have back worn watch straps? And they said, no, okay, keep it, keep it. But I didn't wear them and so we can make a giveaway with brand new straps. I know this is a bit against my agreement with Carl Friedrich. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't have to wear them to, to see quality. I've handled hundreds of watch straps and so I think I can show you those straps in the light box as well without wearing them and then I can give you the possibility to enter a giveaway. And then I'd like to show you my own work in the light box. 16 wallets are ready for sale and can be ordered in this video, okay? So this is the program and now let's begin. Okay, here we are with our Carl Friedrich briefcase, a cognac colored briefcase called Palissy or Palissy, and it's one of the best sellers of this company. As you can see, good looking, well designed briefcase. Let's go roughly over the measurements, or I should say precisely and quickly over the measurements. We have 39, the height is 30 centimeters and the thickness is 80 millimeters or 8 centimeters. You have two handles, you have a zipper, pretty substantial zipper and I want to take the opportunity to go a little bit over, over the material, over the stitching, over the zipper and then we can compare this to a handmade product and we can find out where are the differences. First you may notice that the structure of the leather or the surface here is very equal. You have a few marks which shows you that this was an animal and this is not plastic. You cannot feel any sort of plastic layer here and this is very good. And I think if you use it, then you will see these typical wrinkles from which you are used to see on leather. And here we have a, let's say, speciality of the industry. They don't sew this together with a saddle stitch. This is just a normal stitch with two threads. This thread on this side and this on the other side. And you may see this on the other side, it's very thin and there it's fat. And so this is a bit of a problem in my eyes because it weakens the, the stitching, but it's normal industrial standard. They all do this. The edges are well sealed. This is a sign of quality. Often you find leather products and then you say, oh, they are extremely affordable. How can they pull this off? Explanation, no edge finishing because this is complicated. This takes time. This um, yeah, blows up the price basically. And the quality of this edge is um, immaculate. Really, really well done. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is executed by machine, but so what? If the machine does the job with this quality here, then everybody should be happy about that. And by the way, the reason that I focus so much on edges is not that I want to see here some, some design elements. No, it's to protect the leather. It's protect the leather against moisture. The smell of the product is um, not perfect. You can smell some chemicals there, but I've smelled worse, I can tell you. Okay, let's carry on. Here you have the handles, also very advanced construction. There are plenty of construction, how to make a handle. You can, you can make it with a single um, piece of leather. You can do it like that, that you have a, let's say, core, and this is a strap of leather, and then they sew around this, this, this thing here. Again, ink edge, very substantial. Nice hardware here, by the way. This can be very cheap. This can look terrible. Sometimes they try to cut costs here. 
but this is obviously this is high quality stuff and so overall until now I'm very happy with this bag. I mean the first thing which can break is the stitching. If you wear this on a daily basis your leg rubs here over and over again over years then it will weaken this rather weak stitching. This will break after a while but the qualified leather worker can repair this with ease in 15 minutes for such a piece. You can see it's reachable no problem at all so this can be fixed. And now the zipper, I'm very happy with the zipper because it's just beautiful, it's just beautiful. It works so smoothly as you can see, it's really, really nice. You have substantial metal here with big teeth and so yeah, very happy with it, very happy. Feels really, really, really good. Ah, uh, here's the, the strap, I will show you this in a minute. Inside you have several pockets, you have here four, four pens and there is a little document holder. You have another zipper on the inside for very important, let's say your passport or something like that. And, and so very, very nice, very uncluttered. This fabric here is pure plastic. I'm pretty sure about that, but okay, they sell this for 560 euros and this is really expensive, this leather. So maybe you have to cut costs then on the inside. And yeah, here's the smell. This is a bit, a bit polyesterish, but okay, I don't see the problem to be honest. And this bag comes with a, with a nice strap, which I pretty much love. Again, you see immaculate leather quality, but it's not this plasticish leather. You can see here a bit, a bit of wrinkles. You can see a bit of structure. Then you have a fabric on the inside. This is very often done that you construct this strap with two materials. So this is absolutely fine. And this feels sturdy and good. And again, we have very solid hardware here. I think is this stainless steel? I'm not sure to be honest, or is it chrome plated? I'm not pretty sure, but it feels good. And all the parts have tension here. And, and here you have a nice rounded, rounded design element. This, this curve here, very nice, very, very well done. And so I'm very, very happy with this construction. And so overall, I really like this, this bag. And as mentioned, they sell this for 560 euros with a lifelong warranty. This is not so much money, to be honest. We can compare this now with a handmade bag. This is the Diesel Punk Executive bag. And you see at first glance the differences. Here, this is all from one height. And you see the difference, the neck, leg or in the area of the neck and the legs, this type of leather here. Here you see um, a very neat part of the leather and it's cut that way that I've used this, let's say, inferior leather for those parts here and the high and top quality leather here. And the ironic side effect is that it gives, the, it gives life to the product because everything looks a bit different. And if you compare this here, I mean, let's be absolutely fair. An industrial made product cannot be constructed like that. Absolutely impossible that, that the cutter takes in consideration the entire construction and then he sees, let's say, neck leather and he knows exactly this is this part and then he sees another type of leather and this is for the strap. No, no chance. Industrial production relies on an equal quality of leather, very important. And you can compare, of course, now the stitching and you see at first glance that this is a saddle stitch with very substantial yarn and this is yeah, a sewing machine. And there you see the big difference. This thread will, will last not forever, I think, but it will outlive this by 10 years, I would say. And so overall, I prefer, of course, this type of construction way more. But we have to be fair, there is no way to make a calculation for this product with a price, with an end price of 560 euros. If you order this made by hand, then you have a single piece and then you have a four digit price, okay? And so they are not in the same league, they are not supposed to be in the same league. This is for people who are close to the source and this is for people who enjoy good quality leather but accessible and payable. And so I'm very happy that I had the chance to see this, to examine this. I've learned, of course, a lot uh, examine this bag. You learn always something. And I'm happy to repeat that I consider this a quality product. So Carl Friedrich, thanks again for the opportunity. I will send this bag now. And they offered a discount code for case bag watches viewers, 15% off, valid for one month. Okay, and now let's change subject. Now here we are with watch straps and we have two watch straps by Carl Friedrich. The classic watch, stra watch strap chocolate 18 millimeters and the modern 
Cognac 20 millimeters and I will make a giveaway with those brand new high quality watch straps. Price by the way is 95 euros or 105 US dollars. And let's begin with the chocolate one, the classic watch strap. And classic here means, as you can see, a classic stitching. You have a very nice padding here, focus please. A very nice color, very dark brown. And I love this color because it goes basically with everything. Very versatile color. You can put it on a golden watch, you can put it on a steel watch, you can put it on a sport watch. It looks good when you are wearing a polo, a t-shirt, a dress shirt and so very, very versatile pieces. And what I like here especially is that you see some kind of texture here. And this is the sign for good quality leather. See this? It doesn't look like plastic, it looks substantial. This is a bit unusual here. Often you see here a, a let's say, very bright calf lining. And I think this is the same material like on the upper side. And there you have the, the manufacturer, handmade in Italy, Tuscan Vachetta leather. Fine stitching. Here you have those keepers. You have a pretty basic clasp, which is completely fine in my eyes, completely in order. And yeah, the feel is really good. The feel is not too soft, not too hard. And so I think this is a very comfortable strap. And again, you have very fine edges here, really well made. And this, those edges here really look a bit handmade. And so yeah, nice product, really nice product. But now let's stop here because I don't want to touch too much because this should arrive like new. And our next strap here is the modern, the modern watch strap with less stitching, very nice cognac color. And I think this is the same material like the back. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Same thing, you see some texture here. You see that it's it's not plastic. You see that it's a nice natural, natural material, Carl Friedrich. And here again, handmade in Italy, Tuscan Vachetta leather. Very nice. You have, of course, reduced stitching only here because this is the modern, modern look. To be honest, I prefer stitching all over the strap, but this is a bit, um, bit taste and a bit the question how tolerant you are with glue because those layers here are just glued together right now. It's not a functional problem because you have, again, well-made edge finished, which will seal off the construction. Same clasp as you can see. And yeah, really nice texture. And again, this the construction is a bit simpler, so it's not tapered. So you have one thickness, but it's very well chosen. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and so feels very comfortable. And are these straps now worth um, 105 US dollars or 95 euros? Um, I'm in contact with some companies and I've read some wholesale prices and if the strap comes from Germany or from Italy then they are expensive even wholesale. And of course there's a markup but I think 95 euros it's not completely over the top here. This really looks like quality, feels like quality, it doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> no, this, this strap actually smells pretty good, it's pretty decent, pretty decent. And so. I will put this away and the giveaway is starting right now. And if you want to participate, then please write to casebackwatches at icloud.com, subject giveaway. This is important, okay? Subject giveaway because there's a filter rule and please write only your name and your country. But make sure please that the giveaway is still running. I will mark this in the description and in the comments. The runtime will be one entire day, so 24 hours. And the detailed terms and conditions you find also in the description. Thanks to Glenn. Okay, and now to our last subject. Wallets, handmade wallets made by me. Very proud. I'm always very proud when I finish this series. And here you have the wallet new and here you have it worn over a couple of weeks. As you can see, you have some marks on it. You could polish them away, but you know what? I like them. And the color is a dark brown. Again, very versatile. And the stitching is also brown, so this time no contrast stitching because I wanted to keep this as pure as it gets. And this is calf leather, this is chrome tanned calf leather, stitched together with a saddle stitch, so very robust, very sturdy. You have one single thread through the layers, sewn together with two needles, and every stitch forms a little loop and holds tight. So if this yarn here breaks, it will still hold together. In fact, I've done a mistake here one time and I had to redo a seam and I had to cut literally every single stitch. It was absolutely terrible. And the measurements of the product are 
are 11 centimeters as you can see here and the height is 80 and you have two card holders inside for yeah what is it eight to eight to ten cards i mean you can stuff this like you want you need a bit of time then but as you can see it holds here nicely my cards and it is designed for normal bank notes and bill and stuff you see for 50 euros and you see it fits exactly in the product and this was very important because if you want to use a nice wallet then it has to be designed for a bill for cards and also for the normal jacket pocket or for the back pocket in your jeans or your trousers or what you want to wear and you see that it revolves a spectacular patina over the time here you see the little cobra here you see ink edge so same material like on straps and other leather products and you see that it's applied by hand and this makes the product pricey because I use personally I use three layers first layer then you have to polish it second layer polish third layer is then the result and I treated everything with a nice leather polish I wanted to use beeswax to be to be honest but it was just too sticky and now I'm using this wonderful product here's a very very high quality polish produced by Solitaire, if you want to check it out. I'm not affiliated with them, but I really can recommend this. And it's, yeah, it's good for shoes also. And this wallet here is designed and made to last. So you can use it 10 years if you want, or 15 years, or 20 years. And maybe after 20 years, you need a small repair, but it's fully repairable. When here something goes wrong, every qualified leather worker can fix it in absolutely no time. And I don't want to brag here, but, um, the smell is amazing, amazing when you compare it with industrial made product. You can smell a bit of wax, but there's nothing chemical in it. And by the way, those, those seams here are glued together before stitching, but I use a, well, let me show you this, a non-toxic glue, which the industry doesn't do. This is, Aquilium is the name, and this is completely without dangerous solvents. And this is good for me, of course, because I have to to work with this but also for you because you, you could eat this actually but it doesn't hold so strong as a modern chemical glue and so it is only to yeah to keep everything in place for the stitching the stitching does the job here and if you want to order one of these wallets then please just write to kspecwatches at icloud.com just write me your name and the, that you want a wallet okay so hi i'm bill from the united states and i like to purchase one wallet and then I will get back to you with payment informations. It's PayPal only. The price for one wallet is 160 euro, which reflects the material and of course the working hours. It comes with a proper bill, of course, three years warranty and shipping worldwide for free. Yeah, I really love this point because it's more like I'm selling products to members of a club. Okay, and I will mark in the comments if the wallets are sold out. 16 pieces here, one is sold. And 16 pieces are the amount I can get from a hide. This is the simple truth. If I buy a hide from a calf, then it has a certain size. And 16 wallets are the maximum. Actually, I made 17, but this is for me. This is not for sale. I really will use this. And yeah, it's nice. Absolutely nice product. I'm very proud of, of this result here. Okay, welcome back. And now I'd like to address briefly an idea I have for the channel and for, yeah, for case back watches in general. People ask me all the time about watch straps, high quality watch straps. And I could, yeah, I could produce them myself, but you know what, it's not fun. I don't like to do it because they're so tiny. I like to work with bigger things. I know this is a bit childish, but it's the way it is. And I don't see this as the main business here. But why not to put in expertise and my, let's say, knowledge and experience I've gained over the last years to find in Germany a manufacturer for a case spec watches watch strap series. This means not Alibaba or AliExpress. This means not made in China. What I want is made in Germany, handmade with high quality calf heights and cordovan. And I think it's possible. I'm in contact now with three companies here and they say, uh, sent me samples and one sample was well, I don't know, mediocre, but two are very, very good. One quarter one, one calf. And so I really think it's possible to make a good calculation to buy in good quality straps, let's say 100, and sell them here on the channel. 
And the strategy could be then to sell the first 100 with, without big online shop and an and organization behind it. But then I could implement an online shop to make things easier for all of us. Because um, yeah, type in 100 forms, this is, um, yeah, this is tough work to be honest. And so this is my question to you. Do you like this idea and do you want the Caseback Watch's little Cobra, the logo, on the outside or on the inside? I'm a bit confused there because on Instagram people said inside and other people said no, outside. Okay, this is enough for this episode. If you want to keep track, then please follow me on Instagram. I show there my, my projects in the making, watches, leather and other things I find interesting. And now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time.